Welcome back to Pro City Cation. This is Zeth. Today I'm going to be talking about NAK. So this is an update to my last DD. You can find it in the description below. Basically, the last DD uh, has recommended a buy around in the 58th region around uh, on the 25th of August. Now today I'm coming with different updates for this ticker. Make sure to drop a like to this video to help the channel grow. Subscribe and leave your notifications on. At any point of time, if you feel you're missing out on any of these technical indicators, you'll find in the description below a playlist to describe each of these technical indicators and what they mean. Let's jump right into it. On the MACD here, we get to see a really positive move. So it looks like the MACD is trying to go towards a positive trend, uh, a positive reversal. So that is really nice to see. On the ADX though, we're getting to see a little bit of a sideways movement. Meanwhile, that might be a little bit of a rough sign, but it doesn't, it's nor bullish nor bearish. Now, William percent R is sitting in a neutral. It does go oversold for quite a bit, uh, for instance, on the 3rd of September. So it has gone oversold for a bit for a little here and there. The stock price is now above the 200 SMA, which is a bullish sign and I'm moving in a little bit closer. 30 EMA is above the 10 SMA. That is bearish and the stock price is uh, below the 50 SMA. Meanwhile, that is bearish. We have to keep in mind why it dipped down. We're talking about something from around $1.50 down to almost 60 cents. Now, it did reach out almost 100% back up to around $1.22 from 60 cents. Meanwhile, that is an amazing improvement, but I do think that there is a lot to consider about this one here. MACD here seems to be increasing on towards the Tuesday after it hit almost 90 cents on Friday. Now, the market has been rough, so I'll give it a little bit of that in terms of uh, uh, cutting it some slack but the really positive thing here is we get to see the 10 SMA is crawling back up to the 30 EMA once again that is a really nice sign it's still reaching out towards 50 SMA and the 200 SMA and there is a high chance that the 50 SMA crosses above the 200 SMA creating a golden sign which is an extremely bullish sign then SMA to cross the 30 EMA another bullish sign and the stock price is above the VWAP so all in all one hour looks bullish except when it comes into only percent R the so moving averages looks like it's setting up to be bullish on the macd it looks bullish adx shows in sideways movement willing percent r is overbought and momentum looks bullish so trying to go on going on towards the moving average band we get to see the stock price is expected to trade between 112 and 126 on the middle and on top we're seeing around the 139 mark moving on towards fibonacci retracements to try to identify what the significant resistances and supports are i'm going to go back uh, for quite a bit, almost, um, let's say, down to around here, around the, where the 35 cent mark was. And you get to see there is a significant Fibonacci support at the 85 uh, cent mark and a resistance at $1.16 and another one at $1.42. Now, we need to identify significant resistances and supports. So, for this, I'm going to be outlining first the supports. So, we get to see there is a significant support at the $1.01. And then below that we get to see at the dollar uh 98 and then below that we get to see at the 91 cents and then a significant one at the 89 cents mark and then one at the 84 cents mark one at the 79 uh, cent mark and then another one at the 72 cents mark and then below that a significant one at 63 cents and of course the 58 cent mark that it did bounce off now resistances and this is one is a little bit more of an interest for a lot of people dollar 06 as the first resistance up dollar 10 dollar 19 dollar 23 dollar 29 dollar 35 dollar 42 so dollar 42 uh, all the way down to dollar 35 I would say dollar one dollar 34 35 is a significant resistance and you get to see there is a little bit of a jump there or sorry a little bit of a drop that was caused uh, and the question is whether it does see around that mark again so let's try to look in terms of news right this one here institutional buyers seems to be a little bit scared to touching it uh, last one was Blackstone basically decreasing a little bit of position in one of the funds, but Toronto Dominion Republic has around 410,000, uh, sorry, 410,000 shares. That is amazing for us. Now, going on towards this very much politicized uh, mine, 
And this one, we know back around, I think, 2014 when we thought this one was dead, but it rolls out from the ashes once again, and that is kind of the expectation. So I'm going to go through a little bit of the last PRs on this one. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers sent a letter to Pebble Partnership outlining their expectations, and I'm going to skip here. The letter received today was a normal letter permitting process that we are all in effort to present the mitigation plan to the USACE that complies with the requirements to the, of their letter. A clear reading of the letter shows it's entirely unrelated to the recent tweets about the Pebble Mine and one-sided news shows. The White House has nothing to do with the letter, nor its chosen stopper described by several of the news media on the weekend. So it does not delay or pause the permitting process, it just clearly states that it's continuing to work towards the record of decisions. And that was way back at the 24th, that's where the stock plummeted. Um, after the news and the PR came out. So the next thing, this one was out on the 31st. So not far ago, just around a little bit uh, less than a week ago. Um, we have confirmation of what we know sometime. The policy position regarding the Pebble Mine came directly from the Alaska District. And it is exactly what we have been telling the media of the shareholders all week. There is a path forward for the Pebble Mine and we are working, uh, uh, we're working our way along it. Another way to look at this is that we were, look, we were working before the Monday letter and we are continuing our work today. And so is the USACE project team. We understand that the letter on wetlands mitigation was the operating document for the next steps in the process, but we're glad that a senior department official has clarified for others who don't understand the permitting process nor read the actual EIS. Well, it looks like someone is mad and they're throwing a little bit of shade. <laughs> Let's move forward. Well, and then this is this one is on um, 31st as well. Quite frankly, it is astonishing to watch how quickly the news media and other irresponsibles jumped on the bandwagon to report the project has stopped, even when repeatedly told it has not. We had anticipated the USAC letter for some time and told the company, uh, sorry, and told this to many who frankly did not believe our position. At least we now have a solid confirmation about the policy position of the USAC E as weeks to draw us to close. Perhaps now we can uh, get back to focusing on our core of work and that is finalizing the mitigation plan for the project. And the last one of the last things on September 3rd, uh, basically they, they are very, very pleased to uh, have the investor relations executive Mike Caliber and experience to join the team. Uh, and so basically his experience working with investors of all sizes, levels of specification, coupled with deep knowledge of North American and global mining and metal sector. So perhaps this can actually bring in more positive PRs towards the, uh, the confirmation of this pebble mine moving forward, as well as some kind of uh, a little bit of in-depth on there. So now moving on towards the latest news. This is a really interesting read. It's an opinion read though, so it's not a fact. I got to highlight that on. It was published just four hours ago. Uh, pebble mine reward could be worth than the risks. It's by Oren Seibert. He basically uh, talks in a little bit about his position and whatnot. He's a 70 year old uh, or a little bit above 70 year old, uh, basically Alaska resident in Pilot Point in 1949. Uh, so basically there is quite of an interesting position that he has. Uh, he is the CEO and the founder of retired off Pen uh, uh, Peninsula Airways, uh, Airways Pen Air. So he lives in Ang uh, Anchorage. And he does give a, quite of a story about what his opinion about uh, the Pebble Mine is as an Alaskan resident. It is quite of an interesting read. I will be adding this link in the comments below if you would like to watch, uh, if you would like to read it. Moving on, Alaska governor says to keep politics away from the controversial gold mine opposed by Donald Trump Jr. Well, there's no. Pr uh, he says that there's no doubt that this project has been pol uh, politicized. I'm zooming in here quickly. Uh, he told the Washington Examiner in an interview. But the regulatory process, driven by science and data, should determine whether the proposed pebble mine project, or any project for that matter, harms the environment. He said, not politics. Says he's not. He has been surprised by the vigorous opposition from the prominent cons uh, conservatives such as Donald Trump Jr. Uh, we're Republicans and we're pro-development's responsibility. We're pro-development. The government said. We want to develop here in the country because if we do it here in the country, the opportunities here in this country and the opportunities to protect the environment is better here than pushing it overseas. So it seems like the Republican Party is a little bit off on the rough sides on this one here and wanting to see this one as well moving forward. Um, at the same time, they want they don't want politics going on it. This one here was from the Senate uh, debate for between candidates for U.S. Senate. 
And uh, one of the pieces here was mentioning basically the overwhelming majority of Alaskans represent expressed flight outrage at the governor uh, Dunleavy's selection of Abby Williams of Anchorage, uh, director of regional affairs for Pebble Mine. He would be the second member to be affiliated with Pebble should he be approved by the fully legislation. Uh, sorry, legislatures. Quite a bit interesting there. Uh, this was uh, the Army Corps puts the brakes on Pebble Mine. Here's what we should know. Now, from what we've seen as well from what the letters that they've sent out is, it has not. So that is the kind of information that we have from the company itself. So what is my expectations for this move? Oh boy. Um, there is quite of a bit of back and forth and from the media and media is jumping on everything. I mean, you know, uh, media just want to get a story and they want to get a little bit more sometimes of clickbaits. So it seems that the story is that they're working against it. Sorry, with it, um, it's still not canceled. Uh, it's still moving on towards assessing reports and whatnot. So there is quite off a bit of bit room to go. Now, why it hasn't leveled back is, of course, everyone that bought a sixty cents got really excited around the dollar twenty and sold, and then hit with two red days. I do expect this one to probably see a dollar thirty four with positive PR. Now, I cannot say how, uh, for instance, Donald Trump would. Uh, exercise his quote-unquote fully on rights of uh, executive orders uh, and just shutting this down as a conservative or as a republican that is a little bit of a weird move to do uh, especially your pro miners you pro american jobs uh, so on paper it has a good chance of happening at least before november post november if donald trump doesn't win maybe this one would go down to ground uh it's a little bit of an interesting thing but on the short term and i'm talking about let me define this one's short term. I would say in the next month, month and a half, this one is still a buy for me. Uh, if it does dip somewhere closer towards that 75 or 80 cents mark, it's definitely a hold at where the prices is. Uh, you should have bought on my last alert somewhere around 60 cents. But uh, if you have high risk management, then you can go ahead and buy and try to uh, glide it up to a dollar 30. Uh, but definitely, it's definitely a hold ranking for me for the short term and buy if it does dip down to around 70 cents uh, 80 cents what do you think about this sticker make sure you mention that in the comments below subscribe and like you have a wonderful day